who are you? And we're no official name. Or N O N for sure. Uh, and my name's Alice Bickett and I am project manager. Uh, I'm Jane Fairbrother and I act as project coordinator. And I'm James Smith and uh, I'm the market manager and I deal with the press as well. How long have you been working together at this niche? Uh, we've been working together for about um, six months now, or over six months. It's and getting on for you. Yeah. God, has it been yeah. that long? Time flies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you all come together then? Together. Uh, I started the group after working with a, a local gallery called the Crocus Gallery, and I wanted to break away and do my own thing. Um, so that was August 2011, and I was working on... Um, some projects with artists and putting on exhibitions when um, their original projects had broken up and I wanted to support them even though the projects had broken up. Um, and then I realised that I'd taken on quite a lot of work and needed some help, um, especially with marketing. So I did a call out for people to help me and then Jamie came along yeah. and I liked him and so I kept him and <laughs> we've been working together. Um, and then um, I knew Joe from um, our fine art course at Nottingham Trent University um, and I knew that we'd have the same kind of work ethic and that we'd, we'd get along and then that's it, the, the group was formed and we've been working together ever since. Fantastic, so what kind of things have you done so far, what projects or exhibitions? Um, we've done quite a bit, we spent a lot of uh, last year doing kind of more traditional exhibitions or kind of finalising a few projects that no official name we had before, we had a motion, but then we kind of polished it off with um, some more event based things, we released a publication um, called Here and Now, um, and then we had a music event as well in December, which was really cool. We did that in a, in a hallway space in like, a flat building, so that was that. <laughs> yeah, was, a lot of them were quite like, intimate and tried to move out of using kind of traditional um, white gallery exhibition spaces. Um, you're quite flexible with your locations, like you're not set in just one place. Yeah. I think also because at the moment we're working on a very low budget, that kind of forces us to have that flexibility and it forces us to kind of be creative with the way that we work, um, which I, I, I quite like. Yeah. It does make you more unique in that sense that you haven't got a set location and you've got the flexibility to work wherever you want and wherever the people are. And yeah. Definitely. I think you need, for like, just to be creative, you need a certain amount of flexibility and you need your boundaries as well because then then you know what you can do, you can run right if you want to be and you can a lot more tame. Sounds great. And what artists have you worked with? With names or how do you meet the people that you collaborate with? How do you meet them? We've kind of, some people we just we've we just known we've worked with them in the past or people that we've kind of met through uni or other art exhibitions. A lot of the artists that we work with quite local and we like keeping it and like, like working with local artists to support and local artists to try and really encourage that kind of network and that, that, that really, really high collaborative um, personality of the group but um, something I'm really passionate about and I think you no know, official name really wants to develop is supporting artists and organisations after we've worked with them because we feel that um, when you've had a project um, people tend to go their separate ways and don't necessarily look up again and we want to make sure that we keep um, in contact with the people that we work with and promote what they do, continue to promote what they do. So we make sure that we keep in contact with everybody and promote all their recent, recent activities and that comes up in our social media as no, uh, NON support, um, so we support everyone yeah. I think it's nicer for like the people who come along and see it as well because I think a lot of the fun is seeing the progression that someone makes as well so there's that side to it as well I guess when you see them at the bottom and it's nice to yeah, yeah, see, yeah. You see how someone yeah. develops and you can I don't know you can't really see their thought processes but like you can kind of follow it as much as you can uh -huh. yeah. and then if um, Say we've worked with a couple of artists that we've really got got on with, or you know they've, they've been really generous with how they've worked with us. And we we work with them again, and I think that's really nice that you you start working with people that you can trust, people that really excite excite you. Price's tattoo we've worked with a new, numerous times because he's really reliable and his work's fantastic. So. 
that like a nice little network that you're building up and developing? Yeah. I think that's, uh, yeah, like I said, I think that's really important. Yeah. We've already got over 80 artists for a year, so, and that's just going to keep getting yeah. bigger and bigger. Yeah. And all of them are going to be featured on our, on our website, hopefully. Um, and, you know, keeping in touch with them all. And yeah, for them to see what we can get. <laughs> So how do you get your inspiration behind your work and like what pushes you to do certain exhibitions or certain projects? Well, we decided, uh, even though we did exhibitions in 2012, that this year that we were going to carry on doing exhibitions in the traditional sense because being a small organisation you don't get the footfall that big, bigger places do and we didn't really see who was benefiting from the exhibitions because people put up their work but if people don't see it then we don't know why. What, what the point is, I don't want to say that, but before it's, 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 it's kind of lost, lost then. It, yeah. becomes a bit, it becomes almost just like kind of mortifying the work in some way, like it's up on the wall and then what does it do after that? Like it constantly stops having a life yeah. once it's on the wall and it has like an end game. So yeah. I think he felt, I personally feel like events and putting on events and artwork at events and, and publications, they have a sort of sense of something else, a sense of something more alive about them and people interacting with it and you just don't get that if something's on a wall you, you look at it and walk past it and yeah, yeah so, I mean, that, that's just my passion but I think they can, can, they can be a lot held up in the ceremony of the like exhibition as well. So if you're doing it in a different medium like there's gonna be different ways to engage with everything as well, yeah. isn't that? So uh-huh. that down again to like your flexibility. I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to I think, you know, just the way that everyone's on Twitter and stuff now, that, that shows that the world's changing and you've got to move with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So. And then, do you mainly do projects kind of like based on what you want or are there certain things that you take from other people that you think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll incorporate that into work? I think we allow ourselves to be inspired by the people, but we do try and make sure that the projects that we're working on are... Um, can feature a lot of our own interests that we're passionate about it and so that we're enthusiastic and infused and it's important I think from their official name that us as kind of as artists have a set you know so there's a sense of what we're doing and what we're interested in that we're supporting our own interests. Um, we think that's a good way to, to come across as being sincere. Yeah. Um, we want everyone to feel um, welcomed in what we do and feel included and if we're sincere about what we're doing then they don't feel like they're being conned into into mm. being involved. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Your audience can tell if it's genuine and if you're really passionate about mm. something yeah, as well. Exactly. I think it's, it's a lot easier if you are just genuinely passionate about it rather than trying to manufacture like, some enthusiasm because you're only going to have a certain amount of like, will to do that. So yeah. you may as well just go put everything into it. I think it keeps us interested in, mm. in the group as well and in because it's so easy to kind of stagnate in a role and it's easy to stagnate and you get stuck in a rock so it just keeps everything fresh. Yeah. I, think, it, yeah. I think that's why we've struggled with with naming who we are. We're, we're always um, reviewing the words that we use yeah, in, in texts about ourselves. Because even though we're called creative facility creative okay, project facilitators, I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, even though we're called that. Um, you know, that's just so that we've got a business yeah. name that we can start from. Many of us spend trying to keep with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, yeah, struggled in kind of really defining. Not we we know what we do, but it's how we pin it down. We don't want to be. Yeah. No, I guess it's easy to define yourself. You're in that box, aren't you? Yeah. 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 So. yeah. And we kind of want to um, work with people who are not just in the arts. We want to. To, you know, have a bigger audience than that, and yeah. we want to reach different people because the art world can be really small and a lot smaller than it, it thinks that it is. Yeah, um, and we want to break out of that and work with lots of people yeah. and be really open. I think that's why we've done such towards the end of last year, did some more a wider range of events. So, like the music event, we did have artists, we had musicians, and um, performance artists, and we'd like I you know, we could actually stand that. So, working with people from all different. Spheres, more brilliant, and that like brings in different audiences as well, yeah. doesn't it? We just get bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does the future hold? What What's next for you know, now? Well, on the thirtieth of April, we are officially launching. No official name. Um, 
and we will be having it here at the Rope Walk pub on Derby Road in Nottingham, um, which is where we are now. And it's going to be um, yeah, tag along for it. Yeah, um, it's going to be well, you can join us for drinks, games, a smattering of art, and data collection. You'll find you out resist. more on the night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, good luck with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, wait, just like this, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so what events have you done in the past? Uh, well, we started with uh, being involved with other, other festivals, uh, Carnival of Monsters, which was held in Beeston in Nottingham. Um, and we did a residency project and it was a live residency where um, to, uh, an artist and a writer um, made artwork in the space live for two weeks um, and we've had other, uh, I've been a resident in, in the Crocus Gallery as well as an artist myself and um, we had a commission at uh, the New Art Exchange as well um, but then when Joe joined us um, we, we were finishing off some other projects so we did a couple of um, exhibitions and that's sort of wrapping up a few other projects. Um, we did one for Crocus Gallery called It's All Happening Outside the Frame. Um, well then we kind of did one which tied in with the um, World Event Young Artists that was happening in Nottingham in September 2012, um, which we called End um, of the World Exhibition and um, that was in um, the hall space this is flat building and then we followed that up with a music event which is in the same space using kind of the doorway as a frame so it kind of linked to both the first exhibition with the frame and then, uh, it, and then was, we, so, it was so fantastic because um, it was the we told the artist it was going to be in this really small space um, and we, we couldn't have predicted that they were going to think about the yeah. lighting yeah it was it was really incredible um, so it was about the apocalypse and it was the end of the world and um, the first group, the first performer had the lights all on, the second one was like half lit and what, the next one was spotlighted and it ended with this red light yeah. for the end of the world. It was just, yeah. we cool. couldn't have it, it was fab, they, they are just like put so much energy into it and the equipment they brought as well was incredible yeah. and it was such, because it was, we were all outside of the doorway just with a kind of tarpaulin across us and it was cold and raining and <laughs> we had wine so it was okay. <laughs> But everyone was just kind of just grouped together, just trying to get in and see this doorway. So there was, even though it was, you know, there wasn't a massive group of people, it felt really nice and really intimate and just yeah. really, yeah, really fun. And then um, we just prior to that, we did a publication, was it just after that, no? Just after that, wasn't it? We did a publication launch kind of a uh, shop last year, um, which was called cool Here and Then, which is still, still available. <laughs> Should we move on to one? Yeah, it's like a roundup of what you did then. Um, that was relating to the residency right, project. Right. Yeah, so we kind of ended 2012 where, where it had all began actually. It was a nice round of yeah. yeah. It's been nice to reflect back on what you did. Yeah, a little round of it. Yeah, um, in fact, on our new website, we're going to yeah. have an archive page. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, it's hey, you have a new website though. Yeah, we do, we do, we definitely do. It's going to be um, launching sort of mid April, so we're just sort of putting the final touches to that. But it's going to detail everyone we've worked with before, the organisations, the artists, and anyone else who's supported us and offered up their sort of help along the way, really. And then, um, yeah, it's just going to sort of hopefully keep everyone in the loop and just provide a, provide a bit more of a sort of official kind of stamp to it really rather than just masquerading on Facebook and Twitter and things like that and uh, yeah sort of give us a little bit more of a sort of our own space to put whatever we want really. Yeah. It's kind of it's the last thing to our brand and mm. I had uh, Jamie came and helped just start the brand from scratch so designed all the logos. And yeah it was, all the it was quite exciting really because I mean we sort of we, you asked for some help on the marketing side and then sort of Joe joined up and then we all sort of got together and sort of worked out how we wanted it to be, what it, what we wanted to stand for and how we wanted it to visually be sort of represented and everything like that. So it was just sort of nice to it's nice to be kind of like closing the lid on that first little chapter really, isn't it? Yeah. So
so yeah, it's yes. good. And you'll be ready to take on the world in 2013 to have a website Definitely. and what you're branding. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Officially. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Is that a that could that 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 Tweeters at Christmas. Should we say something like, oh, how can you keep it to date with your projects? Or how can we say something like that? Tell me what we should do. Yeah, because yeah. I suppose we can just link that in. Yeah. Can I just say something as well? Are you still rolling? Yeah. I thought that was something quite like that. Well, I just, yeah, I thought that was a good point to pick up on because it's not just about working with artists, mm. it's about working with cameramen and. Um, interviewers and people at magazines and uh, photographers we have a lot of volunteers that work with us as well it's not just us three we work with a huge range of people all the time and it's not just about the artists it's about everybody's creative involvement as yeah. well mm. development as well that's a big word isn't it yeah for, for us <laughs> like, it's, it's nice that you can kind of chart your progress and think, yeah i've come a long way and i've got that to look back on so, yeah. so i like the idea of your publication for that I think that's really nice. Mm. Yeah. And that's what we're doing with the new publication we're working on. We've got a publication coming up. No, I don't know. Potentially there is another chat publication on the pipeline. More to follow. Right. That, that, that. <laughs> Well, you can keep up to date with these yeah. things. And but say, how can we keep up to date with these <laughs> developments? Well, um, until the website's fully up and running, we're on Facebook and Twitter like everyone else. So we're not hard to find. Just type in no official name, and uh, you'll see our sort of our bright sort of 3D effect logo on there shining now at you, and you'll know it's us then. <laughs> I did a wedding, uh, this is what happened to me this week, I did a wedding two weeks ago, and uh, I hey, am in charge. Hey, Start again. Oh yeah, it's uh, music, sad music. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even told you yet what's happening.